Well, guys, it's official. The Vikings set an NFL draft record with 15 picks. I don't think I've ever seen anything like this in my life. But they round out round seven, starting with Kenny Willekes, Nate Stanley. You go to Brian Cole the second, and then Kyle Hinton. It, it, it was a an interesting round seven, t- to say the least, Eric. Interesting, long. I mean, yeah, there's a couple words you can use to describe it. Uh, but yeah, we started off with uh, Kenny Willekes, a defensive end out of Michigan State. He's actually the program's all-time leader in tackle for loss with 51, so he knows how to kind of get in the backfield and be disruptive. You know, and he comes from a, a crazy talented family. I mean, his dad is, is a surgeon. Um, you know, he got a, a brother who's a gymnast, a sister who's a who's a pianist. You know, and 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 he's he's a star football player. He was actually a walk-on at, at Michigan State, and you know, worked his way up to to be in the NFL. Mel Kiper of ESPN called him kind of a classic overachiever, you know, a guy who doesn't have all the traits, but just has a knack for getting to the quarterback, you know, so that'll probably work well for Mike Zimmer for sure. And he also won the Burlesworth Trophy, which is given to the most outstanding college football player who begins his career as a walk-on. He was a two-time All-American. Moving on, though, Nate Stanley, Iowa. Ron, what you got? Well, you know, Nate Stanley, honestly, 6'4", 240 pounds, He is an absolute talent, but there's one thing that I'm always going to remind Nate Stanley, and I got something from my production team, and Nate Stanley's going to always have to remember this moment right here. (laughs) Like, when I go to Iowa, I kill Iowa, but, you know, Nate Stanley, I'm going to have fun when he gets here. I can't wait to meet him, Uh, but he had a good season. You watch him against the Gophers, over 7,000 yards passing, almost over 8,000, actually, in his career, so the kid is smart. He had a 40 Wonderlick test, which was the highest Wonderlick test of all quarterbacks, where you look at Tua Tagovailoa, who had a 13. Um, so, yeah, he had a 40 Wonderlick test. So he's a smart kid. He's going to be a clipboard-holding kid, but you need a smart clipboard holder, and he might be that one, and then has a chance to be a solid backup to Kirk Cousins. Consistency is the word that would describe, that I would use to describe his playing career. Ron, I'm going to throw it back to you. Brian Cole the second, the receiver, moved to safety, started at Michigan State went to Eastern Eastern uh, Mississippi Community College, the, the school on Last Chance U. Now he graduated from Mississippi State. Teammate of, uh, what's his name? Cameron Dantzler. Yep. Teammate of Cameron Dantzler. What do you have on him so far? Well, 6'2", 213 pounds. So we talked about size. We talked about the two uh, cornerbacks that we had that were small. You add a Dantzler who has some size, and now you add a legit beast. I mean, 6'2", 213. He is going to be a perennial special teams guy if he makes this roster. That's kind of going to be his role. But with that size, honestly, he could also probably buy for the backup uh, safety job because you're going to need probably four safeties, honestly, going into this. uh, And they only have two right now, plus they drafted one. So with his size, he could be a hybrid corner slash safety to kind of fill in that DB role that plays special teams that Mike Zimmer loves. The Vikings go from big school to concluding their seventh round with the small school guy, Cal Hinton, out of Washburn University. Uh, the second offensive lineman to be drafted in school history. The first since 1944. Eric, what do you have on this guy? Yeah, Cal Hinton, you know, small school guy. You got to give small school guys, you know, their, their love. You know, he came out of D2 Washburn, like you said. He was a three-time All-American. He was actually a, a star in discus. He placed ninth overall in the indoor for, uh, for D2 for discus. So, you know, he's got some athletic ability for sure. You know, and it, you know, after 15 picks, you know, it's good to get the small school guys some love as we close out a, a long, a long three days. For sure, it has been a long three days, and those long three days are over. Vikings, I, I hope you enjoyed this reactions by us. I hope you enjoyed these draft picks. We're looking forward to getting back to Minneapolis in the time being. Stay safe, stay home, stay healthy, and lastly, skull Vikes. <laughs>